Okay, well, good morning, everyone. Um, as you can see, we're doing something a little bit different this morning. And I will say this morning, even though the time on the screen is saying 2 p.m. Pacific time and 5 p.m. Eastern time, it is 7 a.m. here in Japan, um, which is pretty damn early. Um, I haven't done anything like this ever. Um, I always love watching these Nintendo Directs, but it's really, really interesting to have a kind of reaction video or something of this nature. So um, hopefully it's interesting. Hopefully uh, the video that I put out is okay. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited for today's Nintendo Direct. Um, hopefully, from my side, I'm hoping that there's going to be a new Animal Crossing game. Um, that would be absolutely wonderful. They uh, teased this before, but we haven't had any further information after that. Um, in my heart, I'm always hoping for a new Zelda game. Um, you never know whether these are going to come out more regularly now. Uh, now that Nintendo seems to be pushing out games at a massively fast pace. Um, and I'm predicting probably a few remakes. Um, as many of you know, we sadly saw that Metroid Prime 4 has been pushed back and is pretty much being remade from scratch. Um, so I have a feeling that they are going to probably, more than likely, put out the HD trilogy. Um, now that would be lovely because I haven't played those games in such a long time. Um, and I know they've released a trilogy for the Wii, but I don't think many people picked it up. So it might be something good to tide people over in the meantime. Um, but as we can see, it already says that they're going to give new details on a new Fire Emblem game, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Um, that sounds like it's going to be interesting too. Uh, pretty excited for that. Um, but I have a feeling it's also going to be a lot of updates on current games. Um, for example, Smash. <laughs> what new characters are there going to be this time? Um. I, s I was looking at the chat on this Nintendo Direct feed and I already saw that people wanted characters such as Sans and I was thinking, wait, I mean, that'd be cool, but I highly doubt it. Um, so yeah, we've only got a few more minutes now until the full Nintendo Direct kicks off. So uh, it should, hopefully, be a good one. Fingers crossed. Oh yeah, one other thing I remember. There was this rumour going around that there was going to be a Skyward Sword HD remake for the Switch. Um, which would be nice, as the controls for the Wii version were pretty atrocious. Um, especially in terms of uh, like swinging a sword at just as a minimum. I mean, if you can't get that right in a Zelda game, then clearly you fucked up somewhere. <laughs> um... And this all started off as a rumour uh, here in Osaka, actually, um, which was interesting. It was at one of the Zelda Symphony Orchestra events that happened here. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was just one thing led to another, and now everyone thinks that there's going to be a Skyward Sword HD remake. Um, now, I would love it. I think it would be wonderful if there was one, because um, I didn't think the game was overly bad. Um Except for the constant quests taking you back to the same place. Um, it's a very fleshed out game. Um, I can't say that's for the the, the good. Um, but anyway, we're going to have to wait and see. Um, it would be nice. One of my friends was saying that he was hoping that they might release some more GameCube games. Or even Wii games as HD releases. Um, now that they've got their virtual store up and running. I believe the Switch has over a thousand games out now. Um, and it is coming up very, very close to its three-year anniversary. So that is also wonderful. Three-year anniversary? My god, it can't be three years. You know... No, two-year anniversary. No, ignore me on that. <laughs> um... I was just trying to work out how long I've lived here. It was only after I moved into this apartment here that, uh, yeah, they released the Switch. I remember getting up crazy early for that too. Um, 
Well, 7 a.m. is not crazy early. 7 a.m. is pretty average time for most people. So, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm waffling on a fair bit here. Um, just fingers crossed that we get another Animal Crossing update. That's all I want. Um, although, thinking about it, a new Pikmin game would also not go amiss. Um, Nintendo's been doing so well recently, I would not be surprised if they just throw out all these massive games just for people to grab at. Um, the Switch has done well so far, so hopefully it can continue its trend. But anyway, we have the Nintendo Direct coming up in a second, in one or two minutes I believe. Um, I haven't even checked the volume on my TV yet. That would be a good start. Um, let's turn you down to 20. So, yeah. Pretty excited. It's bloody cold here in Japan at the moment. Especially this time of morning. Oh, boy. So what we'll do is we'll have a look through the Nintendo Direct together. Um, and if we get a bit of time, we can wrap things up at the end uh, with just a little bit of feedback. Um, just on what we saw. Um, I can't promise that's going to happen. Uh, I do have to head off to work in about two hours. So fingers crossed I can get everything sorted by then. Um, we'll wait and see. Yeah. Tune in for roughly 35 minutes of information on upcoming Nintendo Switch titles. I bet they're going to kick it off with the Fire Emblem update too. Oh, come on. It's the waiting, it's the suspense that's the worst part. For a Japanese company, I don't know why they've decided to have their press conference or their Nintendo Direct so early in the bloody morning. Uh... Oh well, it's all worth it. You'd think that they would uh, do it a little bit later in the day for Japanese people. But I guess this is before work for a lot of people, so they can watch it on the train. Um, on a very, very packed train. Um, always way too many people on those bloody trains. Okay, come on. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, this has got to be starting soon. What time is it? Oh! Okay, I thought that might be a little bit loud for me. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm guessing this is a Mario Maker? Of course, it's a Mario Maker Switch. There you go. Of course, it's a Mario Maker Switch release. Um. Oh, okay. Uh, what do we got here then? So straight off we can see this is a massive change to the... Well, not massive, a small change to the interface of Mario Maker uh, from the Wii U. So it's not a direct port, which is a good start. Um, oh! Super Mario Maker 2! Ha! Huh. Ooh. Interesting. What it? Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. God, that looks fun. Ha, oh, interesting. When's it come out? Oh, pretty damn soon. What are we in? February. Hi everyone. Good morning. This guy's done a bloody good job up to this point. Um, he had some big boots to fill. You some very, very big boots to fill. Brand new sequel to Super Mario Maker. Okay. Which we're of course calling Super Mario Maker 2. Of course. There will be brand new features. 
and many new elements are in development as we speak. <sighs> so please stay Coffee time. All right. Next, let's cover today's Nintendo Switch headlines. Okay, okay, okay. For the first time in 10 years, the Marvel Ultimate Alliance series mm -hmm, returns mm -hmm. with a new four-player action RPG. I think a lot of people knew about this already. New original story. Uh. Assemble your ultimate dream team from a huge cast of Marvel superheroes, Ooh. from the Guardians of the Galaxy to the Avengers, Wolverine. Defenders, X-Men, and more. Storm? To stop Thanos Blimey. and the Black Order from unleashing cosmic chaos. You can play together in TV mode, locally on up to four systems, or online. And get closer to the action with a dynamic zoomed in heroic camera. And speaking of heroic, it's time to go higher, further, faster with Marvel's ultimate cosmic protector, Captain Marvel. Now, this doesn't look too bad, but it looks like it might be a bit laggy. <laughs> um, that could be the stream that's doing that. Um, in addition to basic attack I mean, skills, each hero has an alliance yeah. extreme attack. Their most powerful I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> when you join forces with friends locally or online, oh, blimey. take teamwork to unprecedented levels as you creatively combine hero skills into synergy. Kind of on a similar topic, I played Dragon Quest Builders 2 um, when it came out December. Um, and I finally completed it. It took like 50 hours to actually do everything. It's massive. And it lagged like hell. I have a feeling this might be doing the same. Um, oh. Interesting to try. Ah, oh, hello again. Get ready to unload some boxes and have fun doing it. The critically acclaimed puzzle series Box Boy. Never played this. Nintendo Switch um, for the first time. This brand new game is I remember right, this was out a 3DS puzzles, game at first. New puzzles and new features. We fit something else in. Oh, he's so cute. <gasps> this time two he's players got a friend. together. No. To restore peace on the Box Planet, you must work as a team, solve puzzles. And beat those stages. Oh, that's pretty cool. After completing the story, you can access a whole like separate Pikachu. adventure starring Cutie, and, uh, the tall one. Oh, the tall one. Not me. I'm the short one. In all, there are 270 stages to beat. That's the highest in the series to date. So fair for you. Use your brain boxes to think outside the box and lead our heroes to the goal. Okay. Box Boy and Box Girl will unload on Nintendo Switch April 26th. Might invest, might get it, might might be alright. Way too many games to play at the moment, anyway. Okay, most people are excited for this probably. Okay. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate <laughs> is about to spring forward with the version 3.0 update this spring. What are we adding, you ask? Hmm. You'll just yes. have to wait to find out. Oh, fuck off! Remember, <laughs> Joker is a part of Challenger Pack One. He's secretly been preparing for battle, and his moment will finally come before the end of April. In other words, this year, springtime is the time to smash. And don't forget, new Super Smash Bros. series oh, and yeah. figures are on the way too. They're releasing, releasing that in waves. Um, I haven't been able to find any new Amiibos anywhere here in Japan. Uh, we just a, a, a few old ones we had. It's never yeah. too late oh. for a journey through the maze like miniature I do love these games. The Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. They're very therapeutic. Game. They're Back, very very nice and announcements for the Nintendo Switch version. Yeah, they quite relaxing especially after a busy busy day of work. After a new update. Oh, a free update. Cool. Support two player co-op. Maybe cool. Captain Toad won't be so nervous with someone at his side. Two heads are better than one and an extra set of hands goes a long way. This free update will be available later today. And some paid downloadable content is coming. Ooh. We're adding in 18 new challenges that'll see you traveling to five new courses. From sunken ships to a kingdom of sweets. And achieving new objectives in existing courses. See, this was a good port of a game. Um, it was a shame it didn't do so well on the Wii U when it first came out. So, uh... Captain it's Toad good that they're trying to, obtain the shiny crowd in each course. well, give All people the opportunity to play these games that no one player. really played. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker's special episode will be available Ooh. for purchase as soon as, well, oh. later today. Giving one you course early immediately. One of the courses. The rest of the content will launch on March 14th. It's not too bad. That's exactly one month today. Look out for a digital bundle available on Nintendo eShop later today. Ooh. It contains the full game and gives you access to Captain Toad Treasure Tracker's special episode once it's available. There you go. Pick that up now. 
pretty good. Steal yourself for old school action Ooh. in an all new Gothic castle. This looks very pretty. Very Castlevania. Door shall rise once more in bloodstained ritual of the night. And so, the young lady Miriam, Ooh dear. host of the alchemist's curse, must use her. Sorry, I said oh dear a bit too quickly there. I feel. Um. The curse's original host, Jeebel. Yeah, it looks cool at first, but with these powers, the story side the sometimes feels like it's a, just a bit out of place in these kinds of games. Oh, so it's V V V V V V. Here, the laws of reality and 2D side scrollers don't apply. Throughout the castle, a treasure trove of side quests. This does look pretty. And small touches flesh out the campaign. Your body okay. is covered with weird decorations. Beyond the main story, oh God. you can dig deep into character customs. Who the hell was that? <laughs> and more. Your body is covered with decorations. And don't be afraid to show them your dark side. Bloodstain. Bloodstain. Jewel of the night emerges from the shadows. Oh, five summer. of five games. Interesting. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. The time has come to build ah, a new world. Dude, this is what I was talking about. This game is unbelievable as i say i spent 50 plus hours just completing the main story alone it's bloody addictive um, it was all in japanese which was bloody tough um but oh my god if you love the first game you will just fall in love with this immediately it's so much bigger so much better it's a little bit laggy but it is awesome now you can dash yes that is a Beautiful addition, dashing, person. Jesus. Explore underwater. Leveling up and building up your stamina as well is really good fun. Map. Oh, Forerfield. Oh, they're all, it's all in English now. Plus, when you finish off the game, um, no spoilers, I won't talk about the end, but uh, there's a lot for you to do afterwards. Not so much hand-holding like there was throughout the game, but bloody, bloody good. A word from Mr. Koizumi. Ooh. Okay, sorry, I felt like I waffled through that. Definitely check it out. It's a very, very good game. We have a new announcement for ooh, that ooh, ooh. classic RPG series. Please take a look. More Dragon Quest. There are RPGs, and then there's ooh. Dragon Quest, the series ooh. that defined the genre. And the latest entry is charging onto Nintendo Switch in full force. Pairing the series' <laughs> beloved style and perfectly balanced battles with the most impressive scope and elaborate story in series history. Wait, why do Where I feel like this is out here in Japan already anyway? Follows, for no one does no? this ring truer than the Luminary, the boy that prophecy says will succeed the last hero and protect the world from a terrible end. In an odd twist of fate, Dragon Quest does have some awesome music. Snatched from him. On the day he becomes an adult, he finally discovers his true heritage and the powers that make him the luminary. Ooh. When he goes to the king of the largest kingdom for guidance, he is dubbed Darkspawn. So begins the perilous journey of a hunted hero and the ragtag band of adventurers who will join him on his quest. I don't know what Dragon fight. Quest they're up to at the moment. Together they'll There's so many, the so many spin-offs. Monsters roam free of random encounters. We can Ooh. engage them. Choose your strategy wisely. It's like Breath of the Wild, except battles. not you must as good. When to attack, when to heal, when to so that was a bit of a dig. <laughs> as you do, you'll earn skill points which can be used to teach party members attacks. Okay, so so far, um, throughout this Nintendo Direct, and uh, sorry if I'm speaking so over all of their um, narration. Um, but it looks as though these are just re-releases of Japanese games that haven't made it to the West yet. Um, which is a bad thing. It's nice that they're trying to push out games like these. Um, this does look nice though. Between the land's gorgeous HD vistas and the 2D 16-bit glory. That sounds awesome. This is also the first version of the game with fully orchestrated field and battle tunes. If you want. You can change between this the does look pretty. Turn-based strategy isn't my thing these days, um, but I guess I could give it a go again. I mean, this does look awesome. Um, oh, that music, goddamn. Just remember, not all slimes are bad slimes. 
God, after playing Dragon Quest Builders 2, it's really weird to see all the characters in, like, full adult form, adult size. Um, it feels a bit off. <laughs> Don't worry, my head will get adjusted to it soon, I think. Um, First-time players and veterans should also look forward to new stories. That doesn't feel like the music the changes at all between series, so. Spotlight, so I'm curious, I want to know then, how does the Japanese, um, Nintendo Direct... Dragon <laughs> Quest Sorry, bear with me. Echoes of an elusive age, definitive edition, launching exclusively okay, on there's an S, there's a definitive fall. edition... Well, so was there already a definitive the edition, edition, or was there an S edition already? There will be more new information to um, share in the future. Hmm. Please look forward to Oh, well, if that's out, I might have to get that already. Um, for now, let's in Japan. Continue with more Nintendo Switch Good challenge for my Japanese. Oh, okay. Here we go. Continuing on. A Disney Tsum Tsum game like you've never seen mm. before. These stuffed Disney toys took the world by storm, and now they're ready for an after-hours party at the toy store in Disney Tsum Tsum Festival. Okay, if this game isn't free. <laughs> oh, okay, no, sorry. This is completely different. Competitive and cooperative games that I thought this was just going to be Tsum Tsum. Um, which is well with from the an world. interesting game. Um, it's just a, a swipe fest on your phone. Oh, there you go. There you go. Tsum Tsum. Tsum Tsum without talking puzzles. Puzzle is uh, not the word I would use for Tsum Tsum. Um, the game also features oh, a two-player mode for local and online competitive matches. Disney Tsum Tsum Festival will steal our hearts in 2019. That's great. <laughs> this year then, basically. Up a distress call in okay, the Atlas this Star would be cool system. then. Wait, but this time, yet? it's far from friendly. In fact, it's none other than Star Wolf's infamous lieutenants. You know, maybe I should know that, <laughs> whether this is out or not. Great um. Now Peppy, Falco, and Slippy have no choice but to hunt them down. Yeah, I feel this is out. They are in a challenging I, uh, new series of missions you can only find in the spring update of Starlink Battle yeah, for okay. Atlas. Yeah, it is out, isn't it? Okay, so this is just an update. Has their own special pilot ability and skill Falco? Plus, each pilot can take on any Falco, Peppy, and Slippy, if I remember right. From the base um, game. It's time I haven't played anything since Star Fox 64. But don't uh, expect Wolf to play fair. Wait. Look forward to no, yeah, you're right. To be fair, there hasn't really been a good Star Fox style game Star since then. Um, the Starlink Battle for Atlas it's a shame this April. isn't just a full Star Fox game. Um, but they're trying their best to make it feel like that. Up once again. What is this? Season, another reason to wield weapons and spells against monsters. Interact with townsfolk daily. Grow vegetables and fruits Ooh, wow. at the farm. Cook some fish. This is 3DS game? Up a storm. Or even raise monsters. This fantastical circle of life will keep you coming back hmm. for more in Room Factory 4 Special. Oh, fully cool. remastered for Nintendo Switch. Oh. Battle alongside that seems like a nice little uh, kind of treat for people to play. Oh my god. It's very direct. See what the heart-pounding newlywed life has in store for you. Wait, what? Exclusively in this new version of the game. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Rune Factory 4 Special will be ripe for the playing later this year. <sighs> Early morning coffee. And... <gasps> we can finally confirm that Rune Factory 5 is in development. Oh. Look forward to more info in the future. Maybe they can invest in a... Some better graphics. Soon, a time will come to slay monsters a bit of a and dig. rescue lost souls. I'm sorry, I thought it was or a 3DS game. Become monsters. Don't judge me. In this action RPG from the developers of I Am Setsuna and Oninaki. Lost Spear, step into a realm built upon the tenets of reincarnation. Its Oninaki. people lead repressed lives, forbidden to mourn the loss of loved ones. To uphold these tenets, Kagachi must travel between this the looks pretty. world and the beyond. To rescue lost souls from a terrible fate, becoming monsters. When battling these creatures, the lost souls you've rescued can manifest within you, granting you new powers. Each soul's powers are different, so you must choose the right soul for the That's situation at hand. In this deep single-player campaign, there will be many battles. You will fight, and you will become stronger. 
Those who fall to grief are lost. Isn't that how and games the work these days? You fight, you become stronger. The very foundations of I mean, that as a sale point should just be standard. <laughs> summer 2019. Um, okay, looks okay. The art Stars. looks beautiful. Robots hey! Yoshi's yeah, crash. Yoshi's Crafted World. You know what that means? This looks awesome. Yoshi's this comes out next month. I'm pretty excited for this. Um, even got my last little pink Yoshi like here. The many facets oh. of these crafty courses on display. Anyway, enough of that. That was not creepy in the slightest. <laughs> oh, this looks beautiful. Race solar cars. Oh, blimey, this stream isn't uh, going very well. Well, I hope this doesn't affect the recording too much. Hey, that robot's pretty huge for a miniature. Even at this scale, but the ball bosses to wrangle. Using in-game coins you racked up, you can collect. Oh god, that's a gacha game. If you wear one, that alone's a big sell point. Just gacha. <laughs> there are more than 180 of these costumes. Ooh. And some of them can be tricky to get your hands on. <gasps> Later today, we'll release a demo. Oh, cool! We'll play through the first course. Oh, brilliant! You know, I wasn't too sure whether this game was going to be good or not. It looks great. It looks beautiful. Um, oh, cool! There's a demo to play. Nice. Which headlines coming up? But first, another update from Mr. Koizumi. Ooh. How's it going so far? Next, we have a follow-up on the latest installment in one of our long-running series. Fire oh. Emblem Three Houses. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Please, have a look. Yeah, I mean, they should talk about this. They did mention it in the title. <laughs> Ooh. It's very, very pretty. Oh, God. What could have brought you here? Ugh. Sorry, I kind of cringed at the uh, English. <laughs> the continent of Fogland, said to be protected by a revealed. Sorry, I feel Fire Emblem's not really Fire Emblem, unless it has the uh, Japanese voicing. But uh, but that's just me. Different people have different opinions on that. Um, okay, so it's a map. Is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east, a league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called. But the what's Western further Island. east? What's that? Al. Once consumed Al by a tempest of Al war and turmoil. Oh, that sounds Bogle, cool, actually. Almira. These three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. Until one day. In the Fire Emblem Three Houses game, you are the hero the yes, world please. needs. You start out as a mercenary traveling with a group led by your father, Geralt. After an unexpected incident reveals an unknown power hidden within, you'll travel to Garrick Mock Monastery, where you'll receive an offer to teach at the Officer's Academy. Around that same time, oh, you alone Thanks, begin Lord. to see a mysterious girl named Sothis, who appears within your mind. Hello. <laughs> God, can you imagine an adventure just walking like, Hello! Garrick Mock Monastery well, I guess you could. That's basically how they all enter, isn't it? Territories. It is the home base of the Church of Saros. <laughs> I think I'm still half asleep. As well as oh, that's pretty artwork. Not only does the church serve to maintain order in Fodlan, its monastery also houses the Officers' Academy. Those who train there will go on to shoulder the future of Fodlan. The Officers' Academy is comprised of three houses. Black Eagles! The God, Black it sounds like American Eagles football teams. From the <laughs> or even Japanese the baseball house teams. And future Emperor Edelgard. Oh. The Blue Lions boast Prince Dimitri. Yeah, these the are just Holy basically Kingdom football teams. They're just football team profiles. This house is for students from his kingdom. Dimitri. The Golden Deer is for students from the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude. Who is the heir of the noble family that leads the alliance? Uh, huh. As a professor, you will so, lead the students of one of these houses. This game is them. like In to the house leaders, Harry Potter minus the magic. Meet, each with their <laughs> own unique personalities and skills. Which house will you choose? Well, I want to know more about the gameplay. Preach it. Oh, okay. Students you just got to ask nicely. To travel to various lands, sometimes with the Knights of Saros themselves, 
and gain real battle experience. Oh my including god! Everything from defeating bandits to suppressing rebellions. Now this is one of the few turn-based strategy games that I enjoy. But the stakes in each um, battle are very real. Whether your students live or die will I don't mind the RPG, like Dragon Quest, Final Fantasy style. Um, that's a style I haven't played in a while. The last game I played was a Fire Emblem game. I think it was the mobile game. Which wasn't too bad. Never played the 3DS, uh, 3DS game. Um, no, I didn't play that. Yeah, I didn't play that one. Um, so it'd be interesting to jump back in at this point. You have been entrusted with their future, and it's up to you to guide each oh, of them. Oh, this looks okay. Them hone their abilities. Through Who's the artist for this? Study, you, can you know, I think the artist. Ah, it's gonna bug me now. Is it Hidari Sensei? Students can also interact with each other at the academy. No, and by doing so, no, their bonds no. will strengthen. And they'll be able to better support each other on the battlefield. Ooh, darkness. Yeah, hey, good job there. <laughs> wow, they look way too happy. They're just a bunch of frat boys. That's all it is. Frat Boy Simulator. Three houses. Your very own journey. Fire Emblem Three Houses mm. will release on July 26th. Oh, that's pretty soon. Wow, that's pretty damn soon. Jeez. Oh, okay. So, how does it look? God, I'm a sucker for special editions. Originally, you could see the Zelda statue in the background for uh, Breath of the Wild. But more um, development time will be Ganondorf over there from the UK release of um, and so the new release date is Wind Waker HD. There you go. That means we'll have to ask you to wait a little longer. But we That's fine. Forward to the next generation. The game's good. I'll give it a go. Um, time for some more Nintendo Switch Yeah, they could have shown off a little more of that trailer, but all right. In this next entry of this iconic series, the last player standing Tetris. wins. 99 players. 99 only players. Only one reigns supreme. This is... Well, what do we know? Tetris 99. Oh... The iconic kay. puzzle game arrives with an online experience like no other. Nintendo Switch Online members can battle for dominance in this free-to-download game. What the f Sorry, what? <laughs> You're attacked with garbage. Is... Attack back to defeat the other 98 players and become the sole survivor. <laughs> Nintendo so this Switch is Online members Pub PUBG Tetris. Tetris 99 will be available for download. Oh my today. god! Look forward to battling it out in upcoming online events. I will try it out. That looks pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Tetris is not always fear. fun. It never really gets old. Imagine this. You're alone, struck by fear, struggling to survive. And then you meet another survivor. But it's too late. The killer is upon you. Now run. Hide. Scavenge for This items. looks Open the gates shite. And escape with your life. Or take on the role of the killer to make the so-called survivors your next victims. Terrifying? Oh yes. Satisfying. Just you wait. Wait, those are loads of maps. Oh characters. God damn it. And cosmetics to earn. I've got this game on Steam. <laughs> Is it this game? A game like this on Steam. Or being hunted. Discover the true meaning yeah, there you of go. Horror. Dead by Dead Daylight. Dead by Daylight creeps yeah. up on Nintendo Switch this fall. Why does that look really bad quality then? This dog will ruin your day. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. What's this, Delta Rune? No, this isn't Delta Rune. <gasps> Ooh! Wait, is this Delta Rune? Oh, this is Delta Rune. Ah. Well, I'm done. This is just all announcements that already exist on other things. <laughs> Oh, 
okay. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Good. I'm glad they're keeping that first chapter free. Um. Now for a message hmm. from the producer of the futuristic mech Yeah, Delta Rune, the first chapter. It's pretty good. It's pretty in depth actually for just a free chapter. Hello, I'm Kinichi Tsukura, producer of Damon X Mac. And I have some news for you. My god, who is the English voiceover for this guy? Demo called Damon X Mac prototype mission on Nintendo eShop for a limited time. My the game is still in development. Yeah, this looks cool. I'm not focused on that. I think I'm more focused on uh, the English. Who the hell is translating this guy? Sorry. So please try it out. It's rude. After playing the demo, we'd like to hear your feedback. We'll be conducting a short online survey by sending an email invite to some players who try out prototype missions. Okay. For the survey, what is prototype mission? Uh, oh, okay. Okay. That's a good way product. to go about making your game, I guess. Bringing out a few testers for people to play. Um, and then getting feedback directly from the players. That's always nice. Um, with that in mind, Whether it would work well program. is a so different story. Tuned. You don't know who you're going to get feeding back on that. Um. Okay, watch that face. For <sighs> Grid comes Never a fan of racing games. Of high -speed thrills, believable handling, and Unless it's Mario Kart. That to your You'll feel like a pro and of course Crash Team Racing, the when they re-released HD Remake Williams for that, that's going to be cool. From the prestigious circuit of Spa Francochamp to the narrow city from streets of Francochamp, all Franc, DLC is included. Where? Uh, what place did you say? <laughs> I didn't catch it. What is that? Like motion controls and custom controls. Players can race online or locally, and two Meh, players can race it's just racing on a single system. From street racing to demolition derby, when Grid Autosport speeds onto Nintendo Switch in summer 2019. All right, come on, give us some good games. Age to experience oh, oh. Is like five minutes left of this. Created in collaboration with Run. scientists and people who experience psychosis, Hellblade pulls players deep into the mind of Senua. Oh, okay. This broken Celtic warrior will embark on a haunting vision quest through Viking hell to fight for the soul of her dead lover. Hellblade has Vikings and psychological awards, twists. Including BAFTAs for performance, audio and artistic achievement, British game it's and Game pretty. Beyond Entertainment. Find out why when Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice releases on Nintendo Switch this spring. Ooh. The Nintendo Switch lineup just keeps getting stronger. And please tell us more. Mortal Kombat 11 proves the saga 25 years in the telling is far from over. With all new custom character variations, plus new characters and returning veterans taking up the fight. In a fresh new adventure, unravel two oh, yeah. full of two adorable Yarnies. Control both Yarnies on your own in single player, or play with a friend in local co-op for some puzzling platforming. Now I'm gonna blame it all on the stream. Nintendo Switch um, March 22nd. That game is not that Nintendo bad quality. Switch, experienced Assassin's Creed 3 remastered with Ooh. revamped gameplay and features tailored to the Assassin's Creed like remastered. Touch input. Okay, what's remastered about it? Set in the American Revolution. Explore one of the most iconic eras in history as you fight for freedom and independence and usher in the rise of a nation. All the original downloadable yeah, I feel that the stream is not pushing this out at full quality. Um, will be included when they launch together on May 21st. Okay. Final Fantasy fans. Ooh. Ooh. Calendars, we're excited to announce that Final Fantasy 7 will find its new home ha! on Nintendo Switch March 26th. Oh, awesome. We can also <laughs> announce that Mystery Dungeon but why? Everybody will release on March 20th. Surely Sony Release would have pushed that. Well, I think it's out on the... Fantasy maybe it's out on PS4? Onto Nintendo Switch later today. Wait, whatever. That's a classic, always a classic. Oh, bloody That's hell. That's all for today's Nintendo Switch headlines. Is it? Is it though? But is it though? How's everything looking? Is it though? Come on. Well, we have a bit more to share in this Nintendo Direct. Come on. Please stay with us until the end. Let's take a look, shall we? Come on. Uh, 
Ha! Huh. What is this? You know when you get goosebumps feeling really excited for something and then something like this comes on screen? What the hell is this? Transform! a new IP for Nintendo? Oh, he's a Luke. He's a good boy. Okay, I don't know what this is. It looks okay. Um, yeah, not my cup of tea. This does not look uh, that great, actually. Now, look at it. How disappointing. Okay, come on. They've got to push something after this. Just a teaser. Something. Anything. Give me something. I thought I said Hideo, Hideo Kojima for a second. <laughs> Okay, the automata creator Astro Chain. Okay. Fuck me! I thought it was finished. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Platinum Games. It looked like two characters were fighting together during battle, didn't it? I hope you're excited to learn more about how combat will play out in this game. Please, Not really. <laughs> and speaking of Platinum Games, I'm sure you're very curious about Bayonetta 3. Rest assured, the developers of Bayonetta 3 are hard at work, and I hope you're looking forward to learning more. That's good. We've trapped them in cells underground. So the of the day. Very, ooh. Please, check it out. Okay, okay, okay. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh wait. <gasps> Is this Link's Awakening for the Switch? Oh my god. This is totally Link's Awakening for the Switch. Okay, what's your next face there? Yeah. Oh, what an awesome little. <laughs> this looks really cute. This is a game a lot of people missed out on. Um. Oh wow, what a cool. Ah, oh, awesome. Sorry, I don't know what to say. This looks really cool. Hey, any Zelda game is a good step forward. Oh, great. Yeah, leave the date nice and open for anyone to pick out. Ha! Huh. So, what did you think? At long last, 1993's Game Boy Classic, The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening, will find new life on Nintendo Switch. Hell yeah! After 26 years, it has been reborn as a new experience. Oh, good, good. To say in the future. Okay, thank you. I look forward to it. Please look forward to its release. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Wrong timing. I look forward to it. Thank you so much for watching. Okay. Is that it? Huh. Okay. Well, other than the Zelda announcement, 
uh, was a very disappointing Nintendo Direct. Um, I suppose it was just a lot of announcements on games that are coming out or being ported from other consoles or from PC. Um, there was a few updates on some Nintendo IPs, like uh, the Toad Tracker game. Um, but yeah, that Zelda Link's Awakening looks awesome. God, I was, I'm impressed that I could tell what that was straight from the sailing. <laughs> huh. Well, hopefully there will be a special edition and hopefully we can get something to unbox for this channel. So that would be cool. But yeah, well, thank you for sharing this adventure is not the word I'd use. Very, very small journey with me. Um, yeah, it was interesting doing this. I haven't talked to a camera like this whilst watching a video. So, uh, yeah, please let me know what you think in the description. I'm very tired, so I'm going to try my best to edit this quickly as uh, I do have to leave in literally one hour and 20 minutes, um, which includes getting dressed for work. So fun, fun, fun. Um, but thanks again for tuning in. Um, this channel, we will have more anime figure openings coming to you very soon. And uh, hopefully, we'll have a few more tourism bits for Osaka. Uh, or just Tokyo in general. So, Tokyo in general? Japan in general? Fuck, I'm sleepy. Jesus. <laughs> okay, so thanks for tuning in. I'll see you all soon. Okay, bye. Oh, stream ended. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I'll close all this.